गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन लैब इन द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट लैब वी हैव सीन द डेल्टा मॉडलेशन एंड डी मॉडलेशन टेक्निक टूडे वी विल सी द आई डाइग्राम सो आई थिंक द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड दैट विल कम इज वॉट इज आई डाइग्राम सो आई डाइग्राम बेसिकली इज एनालिसिस आर स्टडी ऑफ नॉइज इन एनी सिग्नल एवन वी आर एनालाइजिंग एनी सिग्नल uh with the noise that call i diagram because when uh, you are applying a uh, noise to any signal that will looks like uh, this it is uh, looks like i because uh, when there is noise in the signal then looks like i and uh, on the basis of this diagram this uh, experiment is called i diagram so in this experiment you have to study the noise in any signal when we increase the noise what uh, the effect will come into the uh, signal when we decrease the noise what the effect that uh, comes to the signal basically so you will analyze these things in this experiment so come let's come to the block diagram of this experiment so in block diagram you can see there is master signal from which uh, there is a 2 kilohertz digital signal that we will take in this then there is sequence generator in which the master signal input is goes and this is synchronization to external trigger that is basically it is used in the cro you can see in cro this is external trigger but uh, this is not required in many cases because by using this uh, only some percent of benefit that we can uh, conclude so synchronization to uh, external is not required here it is only given for that then there is a adder module adder already you know what is adder then there is a noise generator and the noisy digital signal that you can will see so in the kit i have taken 2 kilohertz digital signal and that goes to there is sequence generator in sequence generator there is four types of uh, line coding this is a switch when it is a you can see there is 0 and 1 when both uh, switch are 0 0 then there is an rzl coding will generate from this uh, line code you can see this is line code output so when this is um, this uh, switch is 0 and this switch is 1 then this is y and when 1 0 then rz and when 1 1 this uh, will an rzm so i have set it to 0 0 that is an rzl line coding uh, output has been given to the adder so you can see there is adder block in which there is two input one is noise and the second was signal so signal comes from the line code which is from the sequence generator and noise noise there is a noise generator block in the uh, this kit so this noise generator there is a uh, three different types of uh, different magnitude of noise has been generated by this block one is 0 db then second is minus 6 db and minus 20 db so this is uh, uh, less noise then after that this is more than this then 0 db is highest of these ones so i have given this noise to the adder block and after that channel output of this adder goes to the channel and through this so we will see first how the noise uh, will affect our line coding that is one line code is actually generates the 1001 like that so let's see i have pressed auto set and uh, this is the noise that is basically fluctuating because ra- no- noise is random in nature and it's it changing by time it is uh, not fixed so for uh, to see a grid in a uh, single view we can press single so this is at a single any particular instant of time the noise you you know the noise is basically introduced in the amplitude of the signal so if uh, the amplitude is 1 then 0 then 1 so there is in amplitude there is noise that is fluctuating the in- amplitude so by this way you can see the effect of noise which is affecting the amplitude of any signal 
that is one bit uh, series bit sequence bit or line code so noise is basically uh, affecting the magnitude here in this portion there is no noise because it is the uh, abrupt change where the amplitude is changing from 0 to 1 so if we are increasing so first let's auto set the signal now noise is basically very less when we are increasing the noise you can see the effect of noise so you can see from here that is minus 20 db is used in this so i can increase this minus 20 to minus 6 db and here you can see the amount of noise it is basically beyond your limit so when we will single yes now you can see you cannot just even if you are just saying that zero this one is zero then this one is one but these two are so mixed that the noise magnitude is so high that the fluctuation of dynamic range of noise is very high in this scenario when the noise is increased you can see the effect of noise on the signal and the detection is uh, very uh, difficult to detect when the bit is 0 or 1 so for that uh, I have used minus 6 dB noise now we will increase the noise from minus 6 to 0 dB so I have increased the noise from minus 6 dB to 0 dB that is the noise has been increased now let's press auto set and you can see the effect so here you can see what is happening basically due to noise it is a vari uh, variation of the amplitude is so high you can see even bits are not visible so when the magnitude of noise is 0 dB that was basically you can see the noise you can uh, just reduce the amplitude of uh, this by this uh, channel so so in this case when the noise is 0 dB that is uh, so much noise in introduced in the line code even you are you cannot uh, discriminate that is you cannot uh, just recognize where is 0 and where is 1 so that decoding level in this is very difficult as compared to the uh, less noise in the single uh, time when this is not fluctuating I have chosen the single so this is at one instant of time you can see you cannot predict that where is 0 and where is 1 so at the when this am amplitude of noise has been added the receiver uh, cannot detect the original signal what will be the original signal that will has been sent from the transmitter so in this case there is so much error has been taking place and bit error rate is so high so this one is part a of this experiment now come to the part b so in part b if uh, you are decoding the signal that is you are when you are passing i have the just channel output here that has been passed through a low pass filter RC low pass filter and then output of this low pass filter has given to the CRO so I have passed the uh, signal which is a uh, noise plus the main signal to the low pass filter then you can see when the noise is uh, uh, mixed in a, any signal then after the decoding or uh, after the de demodulation the uh, original signal is distorted so I have used minus 20 dB first in this and this uh, less amount of noise I have, I have added in the signal and then passed through the low pass filter and you can see the result yeah this is the result that I have get in this you can see this is uh, some looks like uh, that figure I have already shown you in in the manual that is I pattern so in this uh, this eye pattern has been shown in this it uh, somewhat looks like the eye pattern because when you yeah, decrease so there is noise in the signal 
after the demodulation but uh, it is distorted when we can see at the single time instant this one so this basically this is the one one that is flat this should be flat but due to the noise present at the magnitude it has been distorted and by that way this is uh, should be a perpendicular line after that that will be zero due to the noise there has been distortion and here also there due to the noise the distortion has been take place and you can see here also in this also so after giving minus 20 db noise we have seen uh, this type of distortion has been taking place in the uh, demodulated signal so we are going to increase the uh, noise from minus 20 to 6 db and we will see the effect after increasing the noise from minus 20 db to 6 db what is happening in the our demodulated signal after 6 db i have uh, given uh, the minus uh, 20 to minus 6 db noise now i have increased the noise from minus 20 to minus 6 and we will see so you can see the result the amount of noise in the signal has been increased and uh, due to the fluctuation of noise this is fluctuating signal when we uh, see at the uh, any one time instant we can see what is the effect actual we can see the effect of the noise is increased here uh, as compared to earlier and, and simple is that there yeah you can see the distortion level has been increased as previous because here Mm, there mm, the line was not correct but uh, here the fluctuation is more as compared to previous and there is distortion much distortion due to the increased noise as well as here the distortion it is not flat like uh, one 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 but is dis the signal is distorted much because i have increased the noise in this signal so we are going to increase from minus 6 db to 0 db that is noise is going to increase yeah now have increased the noise and we will press it yeah you can see the amount of noise has been drastically increased in this because we are using zero db so and we press again auto set can see the uh, amount of noise has been drastically increased in first one there is a uh, spikes but that is uh, the magnitude of his spikes is very less in the second one the uh, magnitude of spikes is uh, more and by using the um, by increasing the noise from minus 6 db to 0 db the fluctuations have increased much and in this you cannot see the original signal so by uh, just uh, uh, at a single instant of time we can observe you can relate from previous one the fluctuation of the signal has been increased when we increase the noise as well as the distortion this uh, doesn't look like a rectangular or just a 1010 plot like this 1011 zero, zero, one, one, then 000 zero, 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 this stuff so there is much amount of noise has been added to this and by that way the in this what we have learned that when we are increasing the noise the distortion of the signal as the receiver is increased and due to that the receiver cannot detect the actual signal and the bit error rate of that receiver is increased that is why the noise is uh, should be if uh, the noise should be a minimum minimum noise should be added to any signal to detect properly so in this experiment what we have seen we have seen first what is the effect of noise on our signal that is line code and for that I have taken two kilohertz digital signal then I have passed to the sequence generator then I have added the noise then output has been taken and we have seen the uh, effect of noise uh, after increasing the noise from minus 20 minus 6 0 dB and I have seen the effect of noise on the original uh, line code NRZ, uh, NRZL code then after passing it through the low pass filter that is demodulation I have seen the distortion of the noise due to uh, distortion of the signal due to the noise so I think you have understand all the things and uh,
in this you can search for what type of noise present and uh, what is gaussian noise what is impulsive noise and uh, what uh, why we are uh, saying white gaussian noise why we are saying white and uh, you uh, can also search for uh, what is the autocorrelation for uh, function of any impulsive noise so if uh, you have any difficulty then you can ask you can search many different type type of questions from here and the first question that was why this is i diagram i think you will understand what why we are calling this i diagram experiment so thank you